Welcome to Electron Line. Now that we've calculated the Kalman gain matrix, now we're ready to import the new observation. Notice the initial position was 4,000 meters and it had an initial velocity of 280 meters per second. Now the new position measured is 4260 and the new velocity as measured is 282 meters per second. How do we read that in? Well, we want to make sure that the matrix here, the Y sub K matrix, this represents the observed state of the, of the plane has to have the same format, the same matrix format as the state matrix, the X matrix. And we know that in the case of a two-dimensional example, it was a two by one matrix, had position and velocity, which means that we want position and velocity here. The C matrix allows us to transform the observed matrix into the state that we need it to be, and then also we need to be able to add the error in the observations here. Now be careful, we're not talking about the observation errors here, we're talking about observation errors that may be introduced into the electronic or due to the electronics of the observation uh, mechanism like a radar or, or a sensor. There's going to be some delays in the lines where the data is fed and because of that you may have some differences between the actual position of the object like a satellite or an airplane and the observed position simply because of the delays in the line. If that's the case we want to make some adjustments to that. In this case, again, we're going to keep things simple. We're going to call this zero. So this is now going to look as follows. The new observed matrix is going to be equal to the C matrix, which in this case will make that the identity matrix because we don't have to transform it at all. We multiply this times the observation matrix. We're going to have position and velocity. In this case, position is 4260. And velocity is going to be 282 plus zero because we're going to call the error in the in the mechanism that we use to make the observation we're going to call that error zero for now and when we multiply this times this we get the new matrix that looks like this the new observation for position 4260 and the new observation for velocity 282 now we're ready to combine this with the Kalman gain to come up with the new predicted state the well the new state, should we say, because we had the predicted state before, we're going to adjust the predicted state with the observation and the Kalman gain to come up with the best estimation of to where the position of the plane is and what the velocity of the plane is. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. We're going to take the input of the measurement and then we're going to combine that with the Kalman gain and the, we're going to combine that with the previous state or the predicted state I should say and with the process covariance matrix all together to come up with a new predicted state or maybe we should say a new adjusted state of where we think the plane is going to be. So stay tuned for the next video, that's where we're going to put it all together.